kid's phone. Because at the very least, if the cops come to me in the middle of the night asking me where my kid is, I can give them an answer. Yeah, that's yeah, that's her not... now. She doesn't have my iPhone, though. Uh, does Benji have an iPhone? No, he <laughs> uses an Android. Oh, God! Oh, what a nerd. What, what are we looking for him for? <laughs> poor, poor, Android, poor. Android! <laughs> Android has a Find Your Phone app. It's <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, He's too illiterate. Yeah. Is it also a thing of, like, she would tell us if she did know? She would have told everyone. She would have told everyone. Yeah. yeah. Like, she genuinely just wants her brother she found. Shit. She believes that once you guys find Benji, the truth will be made known and it will clear him of a crime, whatever it might be. Like, the thought of him actually having committed the crime isn't an actual thought in her head. Yeah. Because she. It's her little brother. She believes he can't. Be there is a bit of doubt. Because, again, she doesn't know her little brother. But. She's squashing the doubt and going forward with, I do know my brother. I know, I trust my brother. He wouldn't have done this. Uh, I don't know how to signal this because we didn't agree on signals. I think Oriana, trying to be a bit subtle, tries to catch Alessandra's eye and just do a very like light shake of the head. Like, just, I, I don't think we're getting anywhere on this. I think he, he clocks that look and gives a Almost imperceptible nod in agreement. How are they treating you here, Brianna? Well, fine, if I'm being honest. I. She looks at the city watchman who just like shrugs her, like, he's like, I don't know what's the point. What do you want me to say, girl? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're doing good. Like, You're comfortable, if a bit worried. They don't even really lock my cell. You've I'm done nothing worried. wrong. I am really just worried, sir. You'll get to the bottom of this. You'll find out what really happened. And God's willing, we will stop it from happening ever again. You'll start standing up. I don't believe we have any more questions for you. To, to Anushka and Oriana, as Alessandra says, you know, make sure this won't happen ever again. You can see sort of like the shadow grow on her. Not literally, but yeah, like the, a cloud wash over. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. There is one more thing I would like to check if it's all right with you. Uh, yes. Uh, I understand this may be an odd question, but could you just pull down the back of your car real quick? Sure. Yeah. She, like, pulls down the back of her shirt. And he'll just glance at the nape of her neck. Any uh, marks there? No marks. Very well. That'll do for now, Brianna. I thank you for your cooperation. Thank you for trying to help me locate Benji. Well, it is the least we could do. He is a a nice young man. We'll have news soon. Do not do that. Uh, we need to get, we need to get out. <laughs> I guess I will. Uh, I will judo chop the the guard and spring her free, and then we'll leave. <laughs> yep, yep. The guard's like, like she's free to go. She's staying here on her own floor. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah, what? oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> Slightly dramatic, but okay. <laughs> so, where are you guys are next? I guess we ain't getting any leads here, which is a shame. So I guess it's back to the estate. We don't have any other location, right? There's that one know. that Garth thought of. You are Garth. Yeah. Yeah. You, you are. You was, are. Is there a second guard? No. I don't know how to tell you this. Shut you up! Are, I'm trying to yeah, say the I fucking mean, line. Okay. Are you having oh, an airbot oh, experience? Oh, like what? Anyways, the <laughs> yeah. Before you get mad at me again. I, no, it wasn't you. It was everyone else? Um. Uh. Fuck brain. What was the thing I was trying? She's just gonna say it like after we leave and we're. Probably out of earshot range of the the guards. I don't know yeah. why. Uh, I kind of want to say with the other guy around, but there's no way to really ditch him. Um, there is, there is the other place we found him 
previously. I don't know if that would be on the list of places to look, considering it was a new event, and considering the events that took place. He had Is been kidnapped fair? before. Oh, of course, in that basement place, right? Right. If... Because the people that were there weren't... They weren't entirely rude or anything. He revered them as friends, so... Maybe if he's desperate, he would head off in that direction. Maybe it's only this kid's been kidnapped before. Absolutely. He has an unfortunate yeah, old it's... <laughs> Gods of the path. <laughs> Drop it's him a in a ditch somewhere at this rate. Hey, I'm watching me. Uh, your mouth and your language. I won't say it both at the same time. I'm just calling him like his friend. <laughs> kids apt for getting kidnapped. Don't really got much place being the twins. Well, that I am inclined to agree with. Oriana, when he was kidnapped last, however, that was attached to your situation. Hmm. Th does this fit the style of your tutor? D using devils? No. Hmm. Even with recent changes in personality, I, I would doubt it. Then I would say it is a loose thread, but... Hmm. Not one we can entirely dismiss, given our current predicament. I think Oriana just kind of passively, like, rubs the, the back of her neck. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait a second. It's at the very least a, a direction we could attempt to check. Or we could send a runner to go ask... I'm just gonna say Travis. <laughs> we could send a runner to go ask Travis and he could probably get a quick response. Okay, if you want to go investigate elsewhere, we can have yeah. information sent to us. Yeah. That means I don't know where elsewhere to search. Mm -hmm. I think, given the dubious nature of this lead, sending a run would be more apt. I second that. I concur. <laughs> uh, I suppose I concur as well, then. You are mocking me, and I forgive you for it. No, I, I, I just genuinely concur. I just don't get it all. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Mm? <laughs> so, where you guys go? Uh, back to uh, the estate. Back to the estate you go. It seems like our only, our only lead right now lies with the lieutenant. Okay. And send a runner to Travis to ask him to... If he has seen Benji. Where do you send the runner? Uh, probably to Jet Ridge. It seems to be a base of... A base of operations. And if not there, then check the commons. And Oriana would... Oriana doesn't have money to pay. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, runner ain't doing it for give... free. Uh, well, I have, to, I have to coin for it. How much is it? To run quickly and... Heavy storm and rain. Yeah, it's gonna run you three gold. Three gold, easy. Uh, so that brings down to eighty-eight. Oh my god, eighty-eight! I fucking hate you. And and here uh, here in And I'll I'll give him a five silver tip oh. for warm socks. Oh, <gasps> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah. Uh, given the the you know fact that a devil is involved here has this been brought up to any seekers or slayers yet ideally oh, seekers I highly doubt it then maybe we should send a runner there as well i mean you guys were the ones that discovered the the devil part yeah so. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so i couldn't have really told anyone ahead of time on that Petros player once more I, I had this thought in the shower this morning and then it just like went down the <laughs> um <laughs> so yeah send, send a, a runner to secret hq to let them know that uh there's a devil afoot. Roger. There's trickery afoot. Is that another three gold? No, if it's going to the Seekers, then it's not. Okay. That's a devil. You, you can send a city watchman mm. to go deliver that information. Absolutely. So, so you guys go back to the estate. Let's yep. switch gears. Okay. So, Silas. I suggest you do Sajar first because I'm cooking. Um, Unless Fred can't. Oh dear. No, I'm good. 
How dare you? All right. So, Doc. <laughs> yes. You go to the Temple of Exalted Lord Octavian. It is around 8 o'clock at night, and as you get there, you can see that one of the doors is closed, and the other one is just barely ajar. So you, you are still free to enter into it. Uh, but it is a quiet <laughs> evening at current. Okay. Um, There's literally I'm only just... like two acolytes in the main room as you enter in. One of them sweeping. <laughs> okay. Um... Would this take me up top? On top of the building? 500 feet. It would. Okay. Then, as uh, in case anybody's looking, he's going to make for the door and step through. And the instant he's stepping in, he's stepping up. Ah. You go to the top of the building. A place that you're able to relatively visualize and see, uh, despite the rain and clouds. You're at the top. There is a uh, latch door, a trap, not a trap door, but like a downward door, a floor door that would lead to the staircase, logically, up here. And there is the bell itself, the, the large stone columns that support this entire top structure. And I'm assuming it's just pouring cats and dogs. It's pouring, but this place is like covered. Uh, so you're not, you're still wet from walking over here, but it's not making you more wet. Okay. Is there a way for me to stand so that I'm in the actual downpour up here? Yeah, there's like a lip. Yeah, I'll go up onto that lip and then I will look up. Has it started thundering, uh, lightning strikes, anything like that? Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> it's been doing that since it rolled in. Yeah. Okay. So. I think the first thing he d he does is he's he looks up at this chaos and he's trying to just get a feel for it. Does it feel obviously there's always a bit of an exhilaration and a rush with a thunderstorm, but does it feel malicious? Mm -hmm. That's super hard to check. I I incite the storm for its intent. Romeo Arcana. Dragons are naturally attuned to their environment, so maybe you can muster some of that yourself. Yeah, I do also have... I don't know if it makes any difference, but uh, this... That would make a difference. We're we'll, we'll off advantage. You're GM rolling all this, by the way. Oh. <laughs> Roll it again in public. We shall do it publicly, for better or worse. I was wondering what the this was that was so secretive. Uh, better. Yeah, 18, because you have guidance right now. Oh, right. Um, this storm doesn't feel malicious uh, or anything like that, but the, as you, like, sort of attune yourself to the elements that your dr draconic lineage, your origin, caters to or lends unto, uh, you feel a lightning strike out in the distance, and it feels, how to say, directed. Because you know how lightning normally looks before it strikes, right? It's like this large plasma cascading web that shoots all from the sky to the ground and lightning strikes where it finds the first point of contact. There is none of that here. There's no web. There's no cascade of plasma that lends down onto the earth. No, it is a strike. Clean and done. It's not natural. Hmm, okay. It's, I guess it's intent okay. is its intent <laughs> is solely to pour rain and lightning and thunder. Yeah. Uh I'm gonna see if I can get its attention. I'm, I'm gonna hold out my sword like a improvised lightning rod and see if I can get struck. Taunt it. Hmm. You hold out your blade as if to be an impromptu lightning rod high in the t one of the tallest buildings in all Duvros, but it does not strike you, nor the temple. Hmm. 
Hmm. There are a set, a series of lightning strikes that happen in rapid succession of one another after you do this, though. Just three set striking down at different parts of the city, almost like almost simultaneously, but there's enough of a gap and timing in between that you could sort of determine one, two, and three. Okay, and it's does it seem like the all of the you said this directed, does it seem localized to a specific area? That I can see from up here? In terms of its origin or in terms of where it's landing? Uh this where it's striking at, so the impact. No. Point. No, they're striking in three different parts of Duvaros itself. Okay. One is striking towards the other Tolis building of uh, the Seeker compound. There's one that strikes sort of towards the mountain overlip above the, the drop and the quarry and the noble quarters. And there's one that strikes more central to uh, the western, I guess the northern tankway side of Duvros, like towards like the residential sector and like the merchant's quarters area. You have Duvros. How far away am I from the. No, it's not real. It's not really up to date. How how far, far away from... am I from the other bu building, the other tall one? A few miles? A few miles, okay. Yeah, maybe yeah. not a few, maybe like a couple miles. It wouldn't take long to get there, probably only take... Well, through the rain and downpour, 20 minutes, 15. Do I get the sense that it's trying to avoid the temple? Yeah. That's really hard to... Get that, a feel for it, I guess. That would be hard to do that. <laughs> be I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, you, I mean, you extrapolate on that however you see fit. Okay. I mean, um, I'm open. If you if you, if you determine a way, I'm I'm open to hearing. It. How high up are the? Is the storm? I'm not good at scale or relativity. Uh, Would, let me, you're let me not close to it at the top of the building, if that's what you're wondering. Yeah, if, if I went 500 feet straight up, would I be in the storm? You'd probably be touching the bottom part of it. Follow-up question. If I quicken the spell <laughs> while I'm falling, would I be able to dimension door, for example? into something or down landing safely or would that momentum carry me through and uh let me smash. let me let me read the dis uh see it was eight. we actually have used precedent for this back in campaign three when you guys were in uh the mist forest of onibaba where i believe yeah. One of you t dimension doored and kept the momentum going through the dimension door to go tackle someone else. So by that logic, by that very old precedent, I would say you would probably keep your momentum. Um, but uh, any other force acting upon you thereafter would potentially... So, so if you were, for whatever reason, being like thrown by a giant directly into the sky, let's say and you teleport mm -hmm. yourself further out, you would have different effects of air resistance, which would thusly slow your ascent. That means that the dust then, because by the powers of gravity, your descent would be different. Um, there's maybe that, but in terms of like safely landing, probably not. Uh, you could shorten the distance you would hit to the ground, so you would like not pick up as much momentum. Like maybe not hit terminal velocity. Uh, is there's no like l river or lakes or, or ponds there in Duvros? There is. There, there's a river that runs straight through the middle of it. Am uh, I near it, it? It's yes. Well, not near it. You're not next to it, but the Temple District is on on the banks of it. Uh, the river is like a Y shape with the cradle being tucked between the Y, like the two leg, the two point, the prongs of the Y. That's where the cradle is, and then it snakes. Across Duvros, so that's, if, well, those if, central if, bridges that Duvros like has, those bridges are over this river. 
Okay. So you probably could make it there. If you're in the sky, movement up there translates to a lot of movement down here. So, because that's how uh, trajectory works. Um, yeah. So, so hypothetically, would I be able to propel myself up and then as I'm coming down, propel myself into the river? You would still take damage, but it wouldn't be like lethal. Like, it wouldn't be hyper lethal. Uh, All right. I'm going to do something stupid. Uh, I'm going to try uh, it. That, I think that's the way. <laughs> Uh, because if you teleport yourself into the water, you don't hit water surface tension, which is what is usually the lethal part of it. Yeah. So you would have that. Yeah, so there you go. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try that. Uh, so, sword in hand, I'm going to step up and just sort of try and swipe at the nearest thunder cloud, And then, on my way down, see what happens. Up, up, up you go! Into the sky! Beautiful! You enter into the one of the nearest thunder lightning storm clouds. Roll me your perception using your charisma or your wisdom, either one. 20, 20 plus, let's see. Perception, you said, yeah? Yes. Uh, I'm not proficient, so... I believe in Either you. stat would be the same, so it's a plus two. Fantastic. Nice. I'm gonna use the thing that I have. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fair, fair. There it is. There it is. Let me mark I mean, that. Statistically, down. you should be getting better. Statistically, that means yeah, statistics well, you know. has on memory. And it's me we're talking about here. It's a trail. Well, yeah, hey, you got better. better. Let's go. <laughs> As you charisma plunge. For the hell of it. As you plunge into the thunderstorm, you can feel all this electrical energy around you. Not attuning yourself to it like you know your draconic progenitor would, but you just have a sense of it. And it is how to say networked. It is purposeful. It is not the bouncing around of atoms and energy that a thunderstorm would be. It is like a series of differently styled grid networks, which are all emanating this electrical energy, like a like a f electrified fence that's overcharged. Um, cool. What languages do you understand? We have a thing. You do have a thing. You unfortunately do not understand this language. <laughs> Is it giant? It is giant. You recognize it. You begin to fall. Can I? This is dumb. Um. And? All right, Curse. You go on. Get go the fuck to sleep. Go on. I get it. You don't like us. I'm gonna. Get it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try this. As I'm in there, I'm going to just, just try and absorb something. See if I can do that. Hmm. Make me a roll for casting attribute. So that would include the modifier plus your proficiency bonus. Uh, so let's see. That would be 3 plus 2, 5. 17? 17, okay. Oh god, what is it called? What is it called? Let me open up the book. Fuck it is. You begin to fall, and as you are falling, you hold out your arm and try to absorb the elements that network in the thunderstorm, in the clouds up there. And as you are falling, the momentum of force of you falling begins to pluck and pull and tear away some of that power and energy. You end up gaining this how to say there's a cantrip in Ravnica which is this and I'm trying to find it right now. Just maybe get some visual imagery. Yep. Page 47. Page 47. Oops. Ah. Eh. Encode thoughts? Yeah! 
You know me so well. How the fuck did you know? You're, you know me so well. It's like yeah. the only cantrip in front <laughs> it, it is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you end up pulling away this sort of... Not paper, not parchment, it's not physical. And it's semi-corporeal, sure, but it's not physical, physical. This uh, leafless this little pamphlet, this little scrap of energy made semi-manifest. It has giant written on it the top and bottom parts are ripped so it's not a full sentence phrase in giant but it is a partial fragment of it and it that is uh, sort of wrapped around your hand and down your arm sort of stuck there as if you know like mag magnetically stuck there as you are falling so add to your inventory storm rune fragment Runic fragment, my bad. Runic. It's not singular rune, it's runic fragment. Okay, done. Uh, on my way down, I'm gonna Jeez. see if I can angle myself towards the river. Uh, and I'm, I have, I've used, I've cast two spells. So I have two charges. I'm not seeing anyone taking damage. No! But would I be able to manifest the wings that I use to do, to intercept? With those charges, to break my my falling speed. Given that you are about to take damage, I think that's fair. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're protecting yourself. Help thyself. The Lord say unto you. You manifest uh, your wings. You're similarly semi 